Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katlero. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about all the environmental science qualifications you can study at University of Pretoria. So let's get into the video. The University of Pretoria, located in Gauteng, offers all the environmental science degrees in the Faculty of Science. There are various departments within this faculty and each department offers a specific degree or a specific list of degrees. Starting off, we have the Department of Plant and Soil Sciences. Then we have the Department of Zoology and Entomology. I'm going to talk about the undergraduate degrees first, so let's get started. Under the Department of Plant and Soil Sciences, you have a BSc in Plant Science. A BSc in Plant Science is an undergraduate three-year full-time degree and it broadly covers all relevant aspects of plant sciences. Further studies allow students to specialize in medicinal plant science plant biotechnology or ecology and biodiversity. Career opportunities with this particular degree include ecological consultancy, conservancy, as well as becoming a climate biologist among a whole list of careers as you can see right here. What makes this particular program unique is that much of the research, including soil science, is of an applied nature and contributes to the improvement of agricultural crops and methods, knowledge of plant diseases, the use of plant-derived compounds, biodiversity which includes evolutionary systematics and ecology, as well as biotechnology. The ideal candidate for this particular qualification is somebody who is inquisitive and someone who has a broad interest in plants and the environment, conservation, and in improving wellness and quality of life. Moving on to the Department of Zoology and Entomology, we have a BSc in Ecology, which is also an undergraduate three-year full-time degree. This program explores how animals and plants interact with each other in the natural environment. It will allow you to contribute to their conservation and solve the challenges threatening life on Earth. If you want to pursue a career in biodiversity conservation, environmental consultancy, land rehabilitation and wildlife management, this program is for you. Career opportunities with this qualification include becoming a conservation officer, an environmental consultant or manager, a game ranger or a research scientist. What makes this program unique is that the BSc Ecology is the only program of its kind offered in South Africa and teaching is focused on animals and plants, ecology, GIS as well as quantitative statistics. The next program in this department is a BSc in Entomology. It's three year full time and it is for students with a fascination of insects wanting to control insect pests of agriculture, forestry and households, and also wishing to reduce transmission of vector-borne diseases. People who want to become forensic entomologists or quarantine officials can do this degree and it focuses more on insect diversity and management in addition to ecology evolution and physiology. Career opportunities include becoming a forensic entomologist, quarantine official, insect pest management specialist, as well as this list of career opportunities you can see on the screen. Graduates of this degree could be employed at nature reserves, environmental consultancies, conservation planning agencies, as well as a range of other companies. Something to note is that graduates with and expertise in entomology are particularly sought after in the agricultural sector as insect management specialists or researchers. 
The last undergraduate degree in the Department of Zoology and Entomology is a BSc in Zoology. This program is ideal for students with a passion for the biology, diversity and conservation of wild animals. Students cover topics including physiology, behavior, diversity and evolution, population and community ecology, and animal conservation in the face of human disturbance and exploitation. Career opportunities include employment in nature conservancies, environmental consultancies, educational institutions, as well as the corporate sector, among all the other employment opportunities. Career opportunities include all the potential activities involved in modern research, development and training. And these range from full-time involvement in the field or laboratory to full-time training activities and usually include a stimulating combination of analytical work, field work and human resources related work. Moving on to postgraduate degrees at University of Pretoria, we are still within the Department of Zoology and Entomology as well as the Department of Plant and Soil Sciences. In the Department of Zoology and Entomology, you can study for a BSc Honours, a Master of Science or a PhD. The BSc Honours is a postgraduate one-year full-time degree and in this department they offer three specialization in the BSc Honours. That is Zoology, Entomology as well as Wildlife Management. The Honours course in each specialization involves the completion of self-contained research project complemented by a range of coursework modules. The Master of Science within this department involves programs in entomology, wildlife management or zoology and the duration of study is a minimum one year uninterrupted full-time study but 18 months of full-time study from registration until the dissertation is submitted. Within the Department of Plant and Soil Sciences you have a range of honours, masters and PhD degrees. The honours degrees you can do within this department include a BSc Honours in Plant Science with specialisation in plant diversity, plant ecology or plant physiology and biotechnology. You can also do a BSc Honours in Medicinal Plant Science or a BSc Honours in Soil Science and Environmental Soil Science. There's a whole range of master's degrees you can do within this department which include an MSc in Plant Science, a master's in medicinal plant science, a master's in plant pathology, a master's in soil science, a master's in forest science, or an MSc in forest management and the environment. The PhD qualifications range in different specializations like those mentioned for the master's degree, as you can see from this list. So as you can see, there's a whole range of courses or programs offered at University of Pretoria, but why should you study there? Well, the Department of Soil Sciences at UP has a long and proud tradition and is well known for its research expertise. In addition to that, the Department of Zoology and Entomology are a highly productive, research-oriented department with a strong focus on biodiversity, evolutionary biology, systematics and conservation in the Southern African fauna, along with the classical disciplines of physiology, behavior and ecology. There's a major emphasis on mammals for the more rest to seals in the Mammal Research Institutes and also on elephants in the Conservation Ecology Research Units. Other research groups focus on animal and ecosystem responses to climate change, restoration ecology, avian ecophysiology and molecular zoology. Entomological research includes honeybee behavior and conservation and biologically based pest and vector management. The facilities at the University of Pretoria include the Many Fandi Schiff Botanical Garden, which currently has about 3,000 plant species in the collection. The main aim of the garden is to raise awareness of Southern Africa's indigenous flora through the acquisition and dissemination of botanical knowledge, and this includes the provision of plant material for education and research purposes. They also have the I can't pronounce this word. Herbarium, which houses more than 110,000 plant specimens, mostly vascular plants, but also microfungi. This is the third largest university herbarium in South Africa. 
They have the Conservation Ecology Research Unit, which functions as an academic unit within the Department of Zoology and Entomology in the Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences. The Mammal Research Units in the Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences in the University of Pretoria is dedicated to research and teaching on the biology and ecology of African mammals, including the conservation of indigenous mammal fauna in the context of sustainable human development. And last but not least, they have the Social Insects Research Group, which <laughs> it's pretty much self-explanatory. So if you are interested in any of the study programs I mentioned in this video, please check out the links in the description below. I have included all the links from where I got this information and you can find out more on how to apply for these programs at University of Pretoria. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which other universities you would like me to feature in this segment of my channel, as well as share with anybody else you think this might help. I will see you in my next video. Bye.